Okay, this is the download child because I had to write this one down when I got this one. I wanted to make sure I ain't forget it because I wanted to see this card just had fell off this deck. I wanted to see what was going on with this download. But the download was, it's not how many you slept with, but who you slept with and they tried to ruin your rep. That was the download. That's what I wrote down. So let's see what the Holy Spirit want us to know about that, y'all. I hope you are doing wonderful at this time. I hope you are. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about that. Holy Spirit, we are very thankful and grateful for all the messages, guidance, and insight that you have provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. I haven't used this deck in a long time, Holy Spirit. I just found this. But what do you want us to know about this person who has tried to ruin the reputation of someone in my collective? Okay? Because that is that's specific. It's not how many people you slept with, it's who you slept with. Because who you slept with then told all these people that you some kind of hoe, okay? There's no real proof of you sleeping with scores of men being in some sort of horish activity, participating rather in some sort of horish activity. But there's somebody in particular who felt or claimed to have insight into your promiscu prom promiscuity. That's what I'm hearing. They they tried to say you was a hoe. You was a nympho. Okay? That you always out, off somewhere getting digged down. But again, there's no evidence of that. But they took this person's word for it, possibly because they're, they are an emperor. So they thought they'd be known, but they don't. But you sleeping with this person and disconnecting with them somehow... After the fact, then pissed them off, and they've been out here trying to ruin your reputation. Okay, so what else, Holy Spirit, do we need to know about this? What's the message, the lesson, the truth, most of all, that you would like for us to receive from you through me at this time regarding this download, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Let's see. I'm not going to shuffle no more. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles, that's who you are. A very nurturing person, a working parent, a grounded individual. You know, you don't hear nothing but good news generally about a Queen of Pentacles. She handle her business. She don't be out here like that. She definitely ain't got her legs open to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. She don't. A Queen of Pentacles is what I call a cat woman. That's the wifey material all day, baby. A true divine specimen, an ace of pentacles, nine of pentacles that anybody would want to partner with. That's who you are. Okay, so he tried it. And anybody that believes what he's saying about you, they are very low vibrational like him. And you ain't worried about no motherfucker like that. No way. Okay, you may have Scorpio on your chart. And you, you could be a Virgo with Scorpio somewhere prominently in your chart with this death queen of cups energy because you ended some sort of partnership with this masculine, two of cups, death, queen of cups. This masculine who out here talking shit about you because it was some sort of serenity for you to deplete that relationship to dissolve it for good okay because it possibly was depleting you because i meant to say dissolve i said deplete then i said dissolve it for good but you dissolved it for good because it was depleting you okay you got a new sense of self with this temperance card I'm telling you, people can look at you, which that don't even really mean nothing because we got some real, you know, well-kept escorts out here in these streets. And, and, and sidebar, baby, I know an escort when I see one. People be out here acting like they damn traveling and doing all this shit and balling and just out the clear blue sky. No, 
I know an escort when I see one. Okay. But you ain't out here like no high pay escort. You out here as a working parent, a financially responsible individual who's practical, who handle her business, who provides comfort and nurturing to those that she's responsible for. A true ideal counterpart. Okay? That's why he mad. Because anybody in their right mind would, would want to be in a union with a woman like you. And he know that. But it didn't take off between the two of y'all like this person expected. Clarify. Because I'm telling you, you ended the connection. And you were only in your Queen of Cups energy when you were dealing with this person. You evolved into this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Clarify. Hangman, you sacrificed your way of life. This is the second time I've had Hangman High Priestess back to back in a reading. This in a reading right before this one, which should be up by the time you see this one. This came out back to back for somebody too. This energy of sacrificing what they know does not serve them because they can see what's hidden. They can see what the future holds if they make a certain decision, if they don't have a new perspective. Whoever this feminine is, okay, she decided to have a new perspective in life because she could see what her life would be like if she didn't. So she left something behind and it seems to be a man who mad because I'm telling you, he been out here. He might've even been out here telling people that you are a escort secretly because I'm trying to figure out if people ain't, don't know you to be with no man or be with a whole bunch of men, why would they believe that he's saying you some type of hoe? Clarify, Holy Spirit. Look at, the, look at the money. I just said, look at the money. Look at the money you came out in. The, the abundant energy now. He may be very well saying you getting paid to be some sort of high price hoe, child. Ace of Cups. That's exactly what he's saying. Because I was thinking, why did I just say all of that about escorts? So he out here te telling people that you an escort, child. You secretly an escort. That's why you got money. <laughs> you, a, you a hoe. You a high price hoe. That's how you are getting justice in your life because of this action you taking. Baby, you got a hater. And he ain't worth a shit. Because his ass ain't coming out here past this five of swords. I don't give a damn if he seem like an emperor to these people or not. That he telling this to. He ain't no emperor. He ain't no emperor vibing this low. Because there's, there's no evidence of what he's saying. This, ooh, look what was behind the five of swords. The emperor card. I'm telling you, people, people view him as this authoritative boss energy who be knowing so if he's saying that about you it's got to be true these haters that he's telling this to child this one of them men that they gonna be mad forever honey because you don't want to fuck you just stop fucking with them before they can stop fucking with you before you drop them before they could drop you. So they're going to be mad forever because they didn't get one up on you. So they're going to be trying to get one up on you forever, girl. This one of them because they really do got an ace of cups for you, but they don't know how to process their emotions. So they try to do weird ass shit like this to stop you from sharing that ace of cups with anybody else. Okay, that's what that be now. This day sorted way to cop block, so to speak. Mm. So nobody don't want to fuck with you. So nobody don't want to invest in you. Okay. Hmm. Child, and you did eight of cups, this man. Eight of cups is falling right up under the death. You did it and went and worked on yourself. And that shit has had him in the tower ever since. He could be a king of cups. I'm telling you, this person from your past. You was a queen, you was the queen of cups to his king of cups. Somebody a Scorpio. 
He might have Scorpio somewhere prominently in his chart too, but he hurt. He hurt now. It was a tower moment when you decided to end the connection with him and look out for you. Love on you. Invest in you. Do some sort of dark night of the soul even because you are you are a virgo you either a virgo sun moon or rising whoever i'm talking to you tapped into that virgo aspect of yourself you got more grounded you were operating off of your emotions when you were dealing with this man and you changed up that aspect of yourself to not be operating in your emotions he definitely operated in his emotions because what he out here telling people, you get an Ace of Cups child by opening them legs secretly, moon. I'm telling you. He out here telling people that that's how you get into the bag. Okay. Is this Queen of Pentacles a hoe, an escort of Holy Spirit? Because a hoe ain't no 11-11. A hoe ain't no, ain't no escort now. Nah. A hoe just like the fuck. Uh, escort ain't fucking unless that money look a certain way and the amenities included are up to par. The type of high price hoe he talking about you is. Y'all forgive me, child. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't talk about nothing that I ain't aware of because I ain't never been no damn escort. No prostitute, none of the sort. I didn't have my hoish moments. We all have, but I'm letting you know what I know and I didn't see how it go. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Is that what she up to? Knight of Pentacles sideways, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. No, no. Her plan in life is a bit different than the one that he's telling people that she's participating in. This woman got a family that she's taking care of. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. That's who she giving to and receiving anything from in return. Okay? She, in the Knight of Pentacles sideways, to me this came out sideways because at times it's a struggle for her to maintain this routine, this plan, this system that she has for her life. It, sometimes it becomes difficult to remain at a high level of moral moral and ethical character. But she maintains, even if she don't have as much to give as she would like, it's still enough to be there for her family, to care for her family. Okay? Fool, this woman ain't out here prostituting. And getting no ace of pentacles off of it. Look at her look at her now. She's innocent of them charges. But this fool also talks about how she is trusting life, having blind faith even at times. I'm telling you, sometimes she don't be having it. Sometimes the plan don't be planning like she expected. But this fool talks about blind faith, about op optimism, about taking the risk. Trusting that God got you. And that's the type of energy that this woman resides in. And that's how she comes off as this completed whole in individual who seemingly has it all together. Because she's arrived when it comes to her faith, her belief in herself and the God within her. 1414. Okay? Okay. So, fuck what he talking about. Fuck what he talking about now. And I'm telling you, his ass gonna be in the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands for saying this woman getting the Ten of Pentacles for being out here fucking with King Energies, who got it, okay? This what finna happen to him. He may lose his wealth, his status for being out here Saying that this woman is getting money from men like this to be in this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles energy. That shine they see on her, 
That's the favor, the grace and mercy of the Holy Spirit, the Most High God, the universe over her life because she chooses to continue to be steadfast and unmovable even when things get hard. She chooses to believe and not go down a route like this emperor is trying to put on her name. So what's, what, what do we need to know going to happen with that? Because I'm telling you, it's almost like people have been trying to figure out who even this Queen of Pentacles might be messing with, who these Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands energies may be. It's like he been trying to throw out possibly even names. Like I'm picking up, he even tried to say she messing with like high profile energies secretly being a prostitute for them. I'm telling y'all, so I don't know who she supposed to be. That he thinks she got access to people like that. But I mean, she she probably is somebody. <laughs> I mean, look at her energy. Ace of Cups. We can't forget that came out for her as well. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Page of Pentacles. Clarify this. Somebody is wanting to know who these men are that is giving her this fine type of financial opportunity. And she ain't even doing it. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Knight of Wands. They trying to see who she... Well, I'm, I ain't going to say that because I'm trying to do better. They trying to see who giving her busting it down. That's I'm going to say that. They trying to see who busting it down. They trying to figure it out. But see, what's happening is King of Swords, ain't nobody busting it down. Somebody didn't look into this Empress claims about this Queen of Pentacles. That's what's going to happen now because he didn't talk. He, he talk. He's saying she doing something that really is damn illegal. In most states, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a king of swords who didn't look into these allegations about this queen of pentacles being a paid escort. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Eight of wands. Yeah, he has. He done looked into if she's been celebrating with folks. And this King of Swords has mental clarity about this Queen of Pentacles. He knows the truth about her. What's the truth? You want to run it back, Holy Spirit? What did this King of Swords find out? He got mental clarity now. He looked into this, that she the Empress child, that this man was betraying folks, betraying this empress, being deceptive and deceitful by saying that she is out here horn. So somebody been looked into this damn emperor claims, this emperor king of cups claim about this empress being an escort and they know he lying. Child. So what is this king of swords going to do to help Clear the air about this empress, Holy Spirit. Eight of Swords. Oh, shit. Star. This King of Swords might be an Aquarius. Look. He gonna restrict this King of Cups emperor from imposing these negative thoughts on this woman. He gonna force this man to get in alignment about this feminine now. One plus seven is eight. Eight of swords. Eight, eight. There's about to be a very significant change. There's about to be possibly some energy. Like if you keep talking and saying this about this woman, she will have a lawsuit against you. Okay? She will be able to entrap your ass. So you need to stop talking about her because a light has been shined down on what you are saying. So it's like, I ain't gonna say it's on record now, but it is on record to a certain extent that he's been out here defaming her character. So if he continues to be out here defaming her character by telling people that she is a paid escort, this woman can restrict this man. This woman can sue this man. That is what I'm getting for defamation of character. There will be hardcore evidence 
that he been out here tarnishing her name. And his king of swords has told him that, that a light has been shined down on the fact that he said these things about her. Because whoever this is, she kind of high profile. She a public figure of some kind. I'm picking up on it. I don't know what she do, but she's a public figure of some kind. So he out here saying that, that can potentially make this woman take a loss as a public figure. If the word get out, that she's some sort of paid prostitute, okay? So see, he didn't told him that. That's how he's restricting him, by giving him some of that legal tea, okay, of how it can go, how he can be facing some ongoing battles if he continues to slander her name and that he needs to expand his horizons in another direction, Go in another direction, turn his back to whatever he's feeling, whatever hangups he has about this woman and how things worked out between them. Because he is hung up. He hung up now that whatever investment he made into trying to partner with her as a king and queen of cups, it did not go in his favor. She moved on. This is where all this stems from. Anything else? Let's see what that was. Ooh, Will of Fortune in reverse. He's He went through a true negative phase, but it's time for him to break this cycle. It's time for him to stop trying to cause bad luck for her before he caused bad luck for himself and be on the bottom of the wheel and under judgment. Because that's what's coming next. Because see, people know the truth about this Queen of Swords. She can have Libra in her chart. And because the Queen of Swords is falling right up under the Empress. They know the truth about her. And they know that this woman is not out here accepting no slick love offers like this man has been telling people. Ruining this woman's reputation. Chariot. They know exactly what direction this woman has been going in life. And she ain't been going and meeting up at no hotels or no damn villas, or no penthouse apartments with no king of wands, ten of pentacles, okay? Because he done said all of that. He done said all of that now. And this king of swords, because he, he claiming she participating in illegal activity, child. I'm telling you, somebody investigated his claims against her. This king of swords did. To see why she was so happy and so satisfied. Why did it seem like her wishes were coming true and she was experiencing some sort of luxury in life? And remember, y'all, we see where at times the plan don't be planning for her. She had her difficult moments like everybody else, but it's not apparent to him or the world, really. Because other people was wondering, too, what she do look like. She doing good. She balling, even. She stable. She experiences some luxuries in life. So what, what she really got going on? You know, people were questioning her morals and ethics. But they, I feel like this King of Swords is clearing her name. And the primary way he clearing her name is by letting this emperor know that if he keep defaming her character, his ass going to be in trouble legally. That's going to cut a lot of it. Two of Pentacles. He's going to have to weigh his options. Nine of Swords, Page of Swords. Because they're going to know that it's going to be known. I'm telling you, she ain't going to have to search hard for evidence that he been out here calling her a uh, paid escort. Okay? They're gonna. It's going to be known. It's already known that he the one been saying this about her. And he's going to have to weigh his options in life. And be truly experiencing worry and fear about his financial situation if he continues to slander her name. And they watching too. This King of Swords watching to see. It's like he let him know, I'm keeping my eye on you in this situation. You know, make it right, sir. That's what I'm hearing. Clear up these illusions that you've created about this woman. This confusion. 
take the proper action or I'm going to take action. And I got a team behind me. Uh, the devil was behind that with the strength, child. Let me show you how this came out. This is what this um, King of Swords says. So I don't know. Maybe this King of Swords has threatened him with legal action as well. Okay. But he didn't tell him he need to chill out. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.